I'm going to have to survive this night running away from Night Watchman, and here is why. My initial plan for this video was to be a Night Watchman for the experience, but I was told I had to get permission from the state's vigilante office, and that sucks. So, I took it up as a challenge, and here I am. All I'm going to be picking is my little safety torch and my bag. This actually just contains like memory card and cartridge and my earpiece. So, I'm really not gonna be needing it. Just gonna wait till 11 p.m. to start the challenge. All right, guys, it's officially 11 o'clock and nobody's outside. I'm kind of scared. But first, I want to go see if I can get some snacks at this time of the night. So I got rid of my bedroom markers. I felt if by any chance the night watchman meets me along the road and the head woman makes me look kind of like a thief or something. So I had to remove it and I had to change my pullover. For some reason the gate to my streets is unlocked and that's quite strange. Guys, I'm really scared. I think I have to turn off the lights and just break silently. Alright guys, I'm kind of more confident because one shop is still open and there is another one right there still open. So I think I might have some luck running into a shop where I can buy some snacks this night. Ah, come on good news guys you see that life right there that's the shop where i want to go buy some snacks so i'm lucky and you guys might be thinking i'm a lazy guy i'm scared but i'm more scared because i'm holding a camera at this time of the night i'm scared of getting robbed and attacked so let's do this okay, the shopping was a success and i'm going back to the streets so it's finally 12 a.m i've been at home for about 15 minutes now and i've been really scared to record the video because i mean i've been hearing quite some sounds and they are so spooky and scary so i'm just gonna switch off the camera to about 1 a.m because i'm so scared It's currently 1 a.m. and for every hour passing, I have to fulfill a mission. So it's 1 a.m. and I have to take a walk. Taking a walk at 1 a.m. is something I never thought I would do in my life. And here I am. All right, guys, this is the rock I was trying to leave to the other video. One hour later, it's finally two o'clock. I've been watching some movies, so the challenge for two o'clock is that I have to do a little scavenger hunt, I have to find three stones and three sticks in one minute. Let's go. It's not really convenient holding the torch and the camera, so I'm going to pause the camera and I'll see in the next one minute. Alright guys, I'm back. So, this might have seemed like a really stupid challenge, but believe me, doing something like this at 2 a.m. is one of the craziest things. I'm just gonna continue watching my movies. It's currently the scariest hour of all and as a challenge, I have to confess one of my biggest fears to you guys and that's definitely stunts. When I was about 10 years old, I broke my left arm while attempting a flip. And I've actually been doing front flips before then, but I ran out of blood that very day and I broke my left arm. And since then, I've been really scared to even attempt a somersault. And yeah, that's it. That's kind of embarrassing, though. It's currently 4.06 a.m. I talked about running away from Night Watchmen in this challenge, but 
too foggy see any night switch maps. That's a very challenge of living here. No night switch maps pass through this street and it almost feels as if you are not doing a job. What if there was an attack on this area? But there is no night watchman around to do anything. And the streets is as vulnerable as anything. So, it's almost 5 a.m. The most things will start spraying by 5 a.m. I guess I'll see you guys by then. My intention for this video might have been different. But I'm grateful for this experience as it has made me realize how lucky I am to have a shelter and how thankful I should be to God and my parents. Just a night with cold weather, spooky sounds and extreme mosquito bites have made me think about how hard it must be for the homeless. I am in no position to ask for donations, for charity, but all I wish for is that as you all spread positivity, be helpful and be thankful. The second to the last challenge is taking a picture of a mosque. There it is guys, I don't know I'm supposed to take a picture because I can't move too close with this camera off. So I ended up taking some bad pictures and I thought I should make up for it with this. And finally it's 6am. It's been a long night, I thought the sun would have started to rise by 6am and obviously it's still a little bit dark out here. So I'm gonna get a clip of the sun rising and I'm gonna tell you what the final challenge is. This challenge didn't have so much effect on me because I'm used to staying up all night. Nevertheless, I wouldn't advise anyone to try this at all. While waiting for sunrise, I decided to do some workouts as I promised in my last video. Alright guys, the day is bright. It seems the sun is not gonna shine today. So the last challenge is for you to subscribe. So many hoodies on the road, so much you make a man go rogue. I've been losing out to grind the party because I've been looking for the roads. Subscribe.